Hello and welcome back to Stars Galaxy of Heroes 3v3 Grand Arena. The final opponent for week two was a guy or gal by the name of Doombreed. Let's see how this one goes for me, shall we? And Datacrons. Datacrons on every single team in his front row. Joy. Just joy for everyone. Okay. We're going to go up against his Lord Vader. I believe I showed his Lord Vader's Datacron. Maybe, maybe not. I can't remember at this point. This will be a short video because of how lovely everything goes. But yeah. This lovely twat decided to put Datacrons, like I said, on every single one of his teams. So that makes things extremely fun to contend with. Oh, there we go. Only nine, about 20% dodge, so the arrow on Kylo will make that non-existent. However, that won't make the rest of this uh, final opponent's teams any better to contend with. Oh, there goes both the sides. Thank you, Maul, for being a twat. The final, not final, week, the uh, last week for week two, whatever, whatever you want to call it, uh, the opponents for that week were uh, not fun, and I, it made me mad, I haven't had this bad of a week in ages, normally I can like maybe salvage a win, uh, no, apparently not. Well, salvage a win, maybe, but uh, not against the first two opponents I didn't. So, yeah. Alright, finally going to ult. Oh. Royal Guard got bitch slapped there. Now for Lord Vader. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe not now, Lord Vader. Okay, there goes Lord Vader. Normally, Galaxy, Galaxy, I will get you in a moment, okay? We're gonna do a JMK mirror. Let me go get her before she continues to meows at my door. Hold on, Galaxy. Okay, I was wrong. She's not at my door. I don't know where she is. I could have sworn I heard her meow, but um, I guess I was wrong. Anyways, tanks are gone, and another fun JMK mirror commences. Woohoo! This is, is fun, fun stuff. Honestly, I prefer this over how the JMK mirrors used to be with the Datacrons and how the Lord Vader fights are currently. So, bear in mind, my complaining is just, you know, me being smartass or whatever. This is better than what we have to deal with currently in the game. At least they're finally slowly realizing how broken they made the original sets and like the one with Jabba and the uh, bounty hunters and Kylo in the first order isn't horribly broken so it's manageable however that same cannot be said for set 4 and luckily we are getting closer to the end of it I think I'm going to end up posting this 
Sunday. So whenever this goes up, it'll be a just on it'll be under a month, right at a month. Is it under over? I th- may have forgotten to get my free energy at eight o'clock. Whoops, that's my bad. Um, this is twenty fourth or twenty sixth. Whenever the Lord Vader Datacron goes away next month. I'll look while the fight keeps going on. I'm pretty sure I legitimately forgot to do my free energy. No, I did completely forget to grab it. I am a, I am an idiot. Okay. Oh no, the 28th, the hell? I thought it goes away the 26th. Okay, so never mind. The Datacrons don't go away until almost New Year's. Lovely. So, can't wait to see what they bring out next. Lovely. I lost. That's... That is spectacular. Now to deal with... SLKR here. I'm trying to be a little bit more... Um... What is the word I'm thinking of? Uh picky with what I was sending in with JML. Well, obviously I didn't have Jedi Luke, so that wasn't going to help me. If I had Jedi Luke, I imagine I could have won this one. Uh, however, he was on defense all of the last two weeks, so that's kind of a moot point now. But uh, anyways, we'll see how well we get along with uh, two Yodas and JML. Nope, well there goes Grandmaster Yoda. Okay. Not exactly what I needed. There goes Hux. I did find it odd that this guy uh, put his SLKR on defense. I mean... That kind of takes away your ability to kill Lord Vader right now if you don't have him out on offense, you know? Unless you can somehow manage to bash your way through a Lord Vader cooldown Datacron with Bounty Hunters, then more power to you. I, however, uh, cannot, so Kylo does not go on defense. And now we're in ultimate. Ouch. I probably should have, should have done the big heal instead of that one, but oh well. His Kylo is extremely tanky. I mean, yeah, my Jedi Master Luke isn't a Relic 8 or Relic 9, but I mean, good grief. He's just tanking these big, big hits from my JML like it's nothing. Like every time we get him close to red health, he immediately gets just above that little threshold. Nope, now he's in the red. Well, now he isn't. Should have healed there. Maybe if I had healed, I could have beaten him. Or if I had had Jen and I Luke, it would have made it a little bit more of a, uh, a little bit of a closer fight. I guess. I don't know. All right. 
right now for everyone's favorite team to be putting on defense right now. Crew lead Starkiller. I decided to give this a stab in the dark. A little bit of health steal on that Datacron never hurts. Oh, Doya is making an appearance yet again because I was beyond pissed because two GL fights in a row I lost and now I'm going for another GL technically I'm trying to go with a non counter non counter non GL counter was what I was trying to go, trying to go for here um however crew and sister per here just made that not even a, a viable attempt you know so another team wasted for no reason. Lovely. I, uh, I am glad that week two is gone and all that. I just... Mm, I hated this guy because all of his datacrons I mean he obviously obvi I mean up north he had the uh, last uh, set four ones with dodge chances and all that crap and then on these he has the current set mixed in with the old set so it's just a no win situation essentially for me because I hadn't made any changes from week one to week two for my defenses but that's more my fault than anything, really. So I have no one to blame for but myself on that matter. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is since this is getting recorded the night of Thanksgiving, I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate it, then I hope you had a good Thursday, I guess. That's all, all I can say about that. I don't know where everyone is from, but I hope you all had a good day, regardless of if you have Thanksgiving as a holiday or not. All right. Now that the South Zone is properly, just properly screwed, um, what am I doing? Oh, we're going to try to womp with this. Okay. This seems rather bold. I have not had a lot of success with uh, Wampa versus Starkiller. I don't know if it's just user error or my modding. And obviously that didn't work, so... Yeah. Mm, any tips would be lovely. I'll probably just watch some videos on how to actually do this. Uh, Wampa versus Starkiller fight because I am obviously doing something wrong I'm just not entirely sure what it is but anyways we're gonna go blap these poor fools in the dust Oh, we can manage to deflect the uh, stun there from Palpatine. Nice. And we won. Lovely. Now what? What are we going to go for next? Two eighty Bastila. Sub three twenty Darth Revan. That is. I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, why would you need speed on a Sith Empire team? Why would you not? It's better with speed than not. Kind of seems like a silly idea not to run it with speed, in my opinion. Plus, I'm just more of a... I, I enjoy my uh, Sith teams as it is, so... That would be why I advocate for speed on them. A couple things. I probably should have hit Malik first. We're done the AOE 
next with uh, Veers there. He's dead. Uh, and yeah, that, that was just me being stupid. Okay then. Now we're going to deal with the CLS team. We're going to Jedi it. Okay, we will Jedi it. Be a little difficult because I don't have Grand Master Yoda to send in with these two. Well, not Basila, but uh, Revan and Jolie. And as you can see from that opening move, Sal move salvo opening moves from these three they don't exactly have the damage to really more than tickle them for whatever reason so we will go for chupio instead I would have preferred to have gone for C-3PO first, but not much I can do about that at this moment. I need to get the stupid bonus attacking bastard over there killed. And he's dead. Now we can go for... Well, only CLS because C-3PO's in stealth. Not exactly what I wanted, but the cards I was dealt. I'll need to pull up the screenshot from this. Whoops. For the final score. Hold on. Let me do that while this keeps going. Uh, no. There it is. I found it. Okay. But yeah, like I said, Lovely Datacrons on every single one of his teams. That is absolute insanity. This guy had a lot of Datacrons. He had more than I think every single one of my previous opponents had. It, he had, yeah, he's one of those guys. Ah, I, more Datacrons, short term game for long term growth, I guess. I don't know. Also, this guy has a dash uh, grit data cron. He has three dash crons, by the way. However, the reason why he has three is because well, he needed three to get the dash bonus turn one, and that's the one that's currently ripping through my Sith em uh, Sith Empire. No, not Sith Empire. Sith Trio. I don't know why I said Sith Empire first. Well, Trey is dead, and so is Nihilus. Lovely. Okay. Fuck you, Dash. Okay. So, now that I had that lovely li litany of fails, the final score from that was 1443 to 228. Uh, yeah, fuck, fuck week two. Um... From going 3-0 the first week to 0-3 the second week was absolutely devastating, and I fucking hated it. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed, hit like, hit, hit, and hit up. If y'all enjoyed, hit like, and hit subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Have a good one.